Chemical manufacturers of baby formula are on the Hill today alongside FDA officials meeting with members of the House Energy and Commerce Committee to discuss the country's ongoing formula shortage. Yahoo Finance's Anjali Kamalani has been on top of all of this. What kind of changes can we expect? I mean, at this point, you've heard so many stories about parents who are out there looking for formulas. I mean, what are we expecting to come out of this? I think what we're expecting to come out of this is a real understanding of the market, uh, uh, one, and then also how the FDA uh, works in in conjunction with this, how they regulate the market, what their under source, uh, resource issues are, what took them so long. We, of course, know about that whistleblower complaint that came out in October. And what was the timeline, really? Because that has remained unclear, even though FDA Commissioner Dr. Robert Califf was in front of Congress last week. We still didn't get some clarity on that, on what happened from October to February when we, we saw the shutdown of that Abbott, Abbott plant in Michigan. And just all of that, that that happened in between, and what it what is the result of that? Because we know some of the details and the reason why we've seen this really broad government response is because of how many uh, women, infant, and children beneficiaries are purchasers of these formulas. So we look at the stats, of course, 50% of the market are those beneficiaries. We know that it's dominated by the market is dominated by four major players, and all of this is really government money that we're talking about. So policies to help the FDA regulate the market better, what do they need to do that? And what happened with the companies, the exacerbation of COVID shortages and the like. So that's all really what we're hoping to hear and what the the uh, Congress people have been saying uh, is going to come to light today. I mean, that feels like to be the big takeaway in this shortage is, is number one, the realization of just how concentrated this market is in, in, in the ha- hands of very few players, but also just how much attention the FDA actually paid to this. It, it, so the market itself being four players, that's actually, it, it, yes, it's you know a num- it's a small number of players, but that's not to say that it's there's a monopoly, right? It's not just one company, and and we look at it in, through the lens of just those beneficiaries. Yes, that's where the dominant uh, source is. We also have to remember that there are more market players, but the FDA also has been. Uh, not really cues, but there have been some questions about whether or not they have slowed down the approval of new comers to the market and what that takes, what the red tape is, and et cetera. So all of that is really just looking broadly at one, really one industry that affects so many people. And, and this goes back to the reason why even healthcare, right, of course, is one of those things that the, that Congress looks at so closely is because it affects people so personally. And that's where we are right now is mothers looking for a way to feed their children in the richest country in the world, right? So I think that that's really where some of this really sensitivity comes. Yeah, certainly a story to continue watching. Anjali, thanks so much for that.